We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome to The Freak Show. I am your host, Bumpy McSquiggums, and today we get to do a little something special. We're taking a first look at Scarlet Republics. It's in its last 16 hours on Kickstarter, and we're trying to get it a little bit more love, a little bit more visibility. It is by Audacity Interactive, and if you guys like what you see and you want to go support them, go check out the Kickstarter. The link will be first thing down below in the description of the video, so you guys can go check it out. And if there's time, you can go support them, if that is your thing. That being said, I've been aware of this game for a little while, and I'm just real happy they reached out to me. They sent me this build to showcase and share with all of you. So, let's get into it. Rebel Camp, Assault Day, or Assault Night. We're going to go with the Day Assault. Alright. Okay, looks like there's going to be a little bit of storyline, a little exposition at the beginning of this. Let's see. Lario. Commander, Master, Commander, Master Remo, allow me to formally welcome you to the Rovale. So I'm going to go with Demensne. Demensne? I don't know. I have no idea what that is. Not a word I've ever said, I don't think. Okay, oh, so that was him. Okay. Lord Ilario, the pleasure is all ours. Yes, after so many years among savages, I suspect it's quite the sight. No? Ah, okay, okay. A shame that it's currently sullied by insurgents. That's why we're here, my lord. Excellent. Now, how would you rid me of these vermin? Allow me to draw your attention to the map. So, Lord Ilario, we will begin by engaging the rebels in the forest outside the village of Turfaza. <laughs> this city this scum, but better organized than usual, which has the Senate nervous. Usual, are you often plagued by uprisings amongst the cityless? It is not as uncommon as one could hope. No, and why do you suppose that is? Master Remo, the cityless of Rovale have it better than they deserve. They have food, shelter, they can even achieve citizenship if they serve their lords well. Our city is built around its cultural life. We have the finest restaurants, the grandest theaters, and the most daring tailors. All of who require grains, grapes, wool, and wood from our domestne. Sure. Thus, we require a lot of cityless to work the farms, mills, and vineyards. It is the Rovali way. It always has been. And if the cityless don't like it, well, they are free to move on wherever they want to go. Uh, I'm going to provoke this guy. I don't like him. Free to move. Yeah. The merchant lords of Rovale are famous for gently letting go of their thralls. Not to mention magnanimously absolving them from their land debt. Careful now. Remember who pays you. They are not mistreated. My father has been far too progressive with them. I've told him time and again to use the iron fist over the open hand, but he refuses to listen. And look where it has gotten him. And what are their demands? Madness. Pure madness. This uprising started like they usually do. A few strikes, the beating of a foreman. Lord Galihro should have been able to handle it, but the fool went and got himself killed. This leader of theirs, Lino the Free, he calls himself the pompous peasant, regrettably doesn't seem to be or does seem to be more tactically capable than the regular riffraff. Galihro's heir and family were taken hostage, the castle taken, and every citizen on the land unable to flee got a simple choice submission or the guillotine. And now they dare threaten to bring this ultimatum to the rest of Rovale. The arrogance! Wait, 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 wait. You're telling me the rebels took a castle? Yes, Castle Galero. Quite regrettable. They used that foothold to capture most of the lands that once belonged to Merchant Lords Galero, Liberillo, Lib Lib and Facrizio. Facrizio. There we go. Something close to that. I'm sorry, guys. You know I'm going to butcher everything. Just, just, just lean into it. I do. You really do need our help. We do, although it pains me to say it. Father would have offered them a peaceful resolution, but now? This is an insult to the proud city of Rovale. There is nothing left for them but death. Castle Galero makes this interesting, but not to worry. We know our work. After today, you and your father can worry a little less. While we strike the rebels in the forest, your forces will hammer them up northwest. Will my lord be leading the charge himself? I'm afraid not. The heir to the princedom can't very well go and get stabbed through by a hoe. 
Captain D'Angelo will command the Rovale forces. <sighs> Having pushed them back, we shall strike in force at Castle Galero. Together with this captain of yours, they will be demoralized, bleeding, and cut off from supplies. Taking a castle is never an easy task, but my men have a few tricks up their sleeve. Uh, sounds simple enough. Well, it always does, but even the best plans rarely last once men start dying. And should something fail? I'll improvise. Confident. I like it. I look forward to seeing what this company of yours can do. Now, Ms. Valeria... Normally I would count some mercy, but this time I fear we need to set an example. Uproot this rotten tree and burn it to cinders. Um, yeah, I'll do as you command. You want it ugly? Sure, we can do ugly. Good, they are vicious beasts, Commander. Corsano won't miss them. As you say, now, I have a rebellion to end. All right, some exposition, some storyline, a little bit of a, uh, oh, a little bit of um, you know, back and forth, some characters to dislike, characters to like. It's, it's, it's all good. I like it. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. All right, report. These woods are quite beautiful now, and brimming with rebels. I've done some scouting, Val. The rebels have raised a small wall around their encampment with only one gate. It's narrow enough that a small force could hold it for a long time. A small force can be blown up, Miss Carmen. Hypothetically, of course. Caspar. Or if we can lure them out, I can lock them down with biters. I thought you were out of biters. The Rivoli, uh, the Rivoli Quartermaster is a most gracious gentleman. My stock is overflowing. By the gods, but it's good to be home. Good. Uh, what else, Carmen? Beyond the gate is their main force could storm the camp or blow it up we'll find a way we always do <sighs> I've got a look at someone or some of these rebels they don't look like much never never underestimate the enemy Raffaella sure rusted steel will kill you just as dead as polished if you slip up I don't slip uh, what you say what do you say commander let me loose just follow orders girl Ladies, leave some for me. Commander, the rebels are stirring. If we want any gains at all from surprise, I suggest we move now. Right, Jacopo. Jacopo? I got nothing, Captain. I'll sound the attack. Good. And Leo? Pick a stratagem. Uh, show no mercy on the rebels. Go easy on the rebels. Contract disregarded. Reputation. <laughs> I'm getting paid. Our, employers wants to se our employer wants to set an example. Crush them. Utterly. Understood, Commander. Black Wings, time to celebrate our homecoming. Defeat all enemies! Alright, I am here for it. Okay, taking a look. Uh, looks like we have our list of folks. Can we choose? Oh, we can choose whoever we want to play as. Uh, looks like we get to make all of our moves and then the enemy gets to move. Okay, okay. Character sheet, we get to see what's up. Nice, nice, I like it. Good presentation. The Mage Blade attack. It's it's an interesting Alright, a few things here that I just, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump in here and point out. So let's see. Yeah, we can zoom in. Oh, we can get a point of view change. Nice. Um they went with the square grid versus the hex, which is fine. I don't mind it. I know a lot of people are like, hexes only or squares. It, it's fine. It all works for me. I'm fine with it. So that's the first thing to note. So you got basically four sides that you have to worry about as opposed to six. It's all good. I don't know if there's going to be like flanking or any of that stuff yet. We'll, we'll see soon enough. Uh, additionally, again, I like being able to use all my units in a turn before they get a turn. That makes me happy. Uh, at certain games, we'll, we'll use like the Banner Saga, for instance. Real quick. They do like you get a turn, the enemy gets a turn. You get a turn, the enemy gets a turn. And I just... I never really... That's the one thing that I did not like about the Banner Saga. And sure, there were some ways you can manipulate and finagle that. But, by and large, this this is uh, this is definitely preferred. Alright, so we have a whole bunch of units. We can rotate the camera around. And again, keep in mind, this is like a, a proof of concept. It's, it's barely a demo at this point. But it, it looks good from what I see. I'm, I'm very eager to see this game actually be made. And... Um, you know, be developed a bit more into it. So, 
pretty excited. All right. It doesn't really tell us anything about the different characters as far as their, like, class. I guess if we click this, does it tell us? Okay, a legionnaire. Nimble and versatile light infantry. A marksman. Okay, this is where we can see it all. A guardian, so he's tanky, right? Yeah. Uh, a shape mage. Pattern mages trained in... Okay, that's interesting. The commander. Melee units able to inspire comrades. We have a sapper. Technological soldiers that are capable of traps and explosives. Yep, sure enough. And another legionnaire. Alright, so we got double legionnaires going. Alright, I'm good with that. Alright, so we're going to want to... Like, basically beckon the force for forward, I guess. I I'm a little hesitant, because I don't know exactly what I want to do here. Alright, they noticed us. I don't know what that's going to do. Oh, they get added into... Okay, this is fine. I I'm also okay with an initiative-based um, thing. So does it tell us in our character sheet? By the way, I didn't really have time to do a lot of pre... Uh, like, I didn't get to play this beforehand at all, and I, I don't always do that anyway, and in fact, most of the time I don't. So I am going to this completely blind, so I apologize if I'm kind of learning a little bit as I go. But getting to see all the various different... Okay, that closed it. All the various... Yeah, it's an X. That makes sense. Uh, different things that we have. You think it's based off of agility? Yes, it is initiative. Okay. Uh, well, no, I say that. It adds to initiative. Plus four to initiative. Our initiative is going to be down here. I imagine it's going to be the last one, right here? Yeah. Determines units, uh, turn orders. 22. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So, basically what I would expect. Alright, so I like this. Like I said, I like everybody being able to get to use a turn, and then the enemy getting to use a turn. But, if that's not the case, my next preferred method is always the initiative bar. Where, wherever people fit in based off of speed, initiative, whatever stat they want to use, it's there. That way it's not... My turn, their turn, my turn, their turn, like in a one-off uh, each unit type thing. So this is this is good too. In fact, I think I might even prefer this. Two, I get all my turns and then they get to go. All right, so we need to figure out what we're doing with you. So we have Mage Blade Attack, um, Hawk Shift. Don't even know what that means. Our attack goes up, our movement and evasion goes down. Sparrow Shift, movement goes up, attack and evasion goes down. Clear all shifts and dash. I guess we'll end our turn. Is there a wait button? No, it doesn't look like it. Uh, how far can we attack? And can we move and then attack? Let's see. Does not look like it. Okay, we're going to knock our arrow, which is essentially an overwatch. Do we have to click on anything? Or it's just showing us that it's there. Oh, we double click and then we actually confirm it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Alright, I'm going to move forward and we're going to go into the same thing, melee overwatch. Is he going to retreat? No, he's coming at us, sort of. He got shot. Okay, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> it's a little bit weird, his back and forth running, but it's the diagonal runs, right? Those animations will come down the road, so I'm, I'm not particularly worried about it. So again, guys, gals, don't, like... If you see any kind of like technical glitches or anything like that, don't even consider this as a demo at this point. So proof of concept, the idea, the basis behind the game, how the combat's going to kind of work. So again, not indicative of the final product. So far, I really, really like what I see. Like a lot. Uh, you're, you're a ranged attack guy as well. I think I might even be able to get one off with you. Yeah, looks like we can. 63%, I'll take those odds. Probably miss, yeah. You guys know me and RNG. We do not do well together. We do not play well. I wonder if he's got, like, extra reach with his... No, he doesn't. Like, he's got that long... Oh. Oh, he does. Making a, an attack increase around. Okay, 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 cool, cool, cool. All right, now, I, I wonder if... I'm sure there's going to be, like, retaliatory strikes, right? So we're going to have to move. And I am going to go and lay into this guy. 82%. There was not a retaliatory strike. We can actually shift at this point, too, if we wanted to. I'm going to say no. We have our archer ready to go. I'm going to take that 83%, and we're going to land this shot, right? I'm not going to miss. Yeah, there we go. Oh, and all right. So this is a cool effect. I really like this, and I'm glad that they were able to implement, like, small things like this. It's a really cool thing to see. So as you go, like, the health bar starts to fill up red as they're dying. 
and they start to become a skeleton. That's so cool. That's a really, really cool effect and feature. I really like that a lot. That's awesome. Like, uh, kudos and shout out for that kind of foresight and thought to go into this. It's really cool. We're going to go behind them, hoping there's maybe added uh, flanking or accuracy. There just doesn't seem to be. <sighs> okay. Let's go for it. Ah, oh, we missed. So he's going to get an extra attack off and he hit one of our people. It's fine. I think we can do a heal. Cost two stability. I don't, I don't, I don't really know what stability is, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use it. Probably should wait and use it when it's like more appropriate, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right, we're gonna step up. We're gonna try to swing on him. Eighty-five percent. Oh my god, that was amazing. See that effect? See, like I don't mind like tech demos coming out, and you know you get to play it, and you're only playing a small portion of the game, and all this stuff. Like a lot of people have issues with that. To me, it, it gets to show you what the game is going to be like, or at least the early stages of the vision of the game. Like Battle Brothers, for instance. I played a lot of the very, very first build of Battle Brothers before anyone else ever played the game uh, outside of the developers. And it was fantastic. I really enjoyed my time playing it. All right, so we got our, our splody guy. And as you guys saw, over the many, many years, Battle Brothers developed into a really awesome game. But they started with a thing, and you kind of got to see how it all worked. And then everything else kind of got added in later, all the stuff. So seeing how this already has some different ideas and concepts, like the way the, the death uh, thing goes with the red health and the little skeleton behind it, you can already see some of the animations and stuff coming through or at least the idea or concept behind it like I like all these things a lot it's really really cool all right I think we're gonna go here I don't know what that is did you level up maybe maybe that's what that is I don't think they notice us yet so I don't think we're actually in any danger at least not yet all right can, can we swap? No. So can we swap with some? Wait, can we can we jump the turn cute? No, we can't. Like I said, I'm just trying different things to see what's going down. Um, I would say one thing real quick as just uh, something they should do. Instead of having end turn on, unless there's plans for the space bar, they should have end turn or wait if they're going to have a wait command added to spacebar as opposed to T. It just makes things a little bit easier, a little bit quicker. There's my two cents. Again, in this early stage, the controls and stuff like that don't really matter, right? All right, we can do traps maybe. Um, I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna move up. I know we're gonna aggro them. I'm debating whether I wanna do just like full-blown traps. We can throw some biters out there, we can throw a stunner, we can throw a flamer, or we can just go into ranged attack. I think I'm gonna throw the biters in the turn for anyone who steps on it. I think I'm gonna chuck them out right there. I would have to assume that there you're not gonna notice that they're. Oh, oh no, poisoned arrow. That seems bad. Oh, they missed. Good. They suck like I do. That's great. That is my favorite when people are just as bad as I am. All right, we're gonna go stand over here by the mountain. Oh, it looks like I can hit them with a. Um, Nothing. Looks like I can hit him with nothing. Okay. My bad. Oh, you stepped on a biter. Did that take all of the biters out? I thought like all of those squares would have stayed. I guess not. Uh, I'm going to move out this way. Alright, looks like we're going to finally have ourselves a little bit of a, a little bit of back and forth. See if our superior archery skills are up to to the task. Looks like they are. Oh, yeah, that's right. You shoot back and you get got, buddy. You get got. All right, I'm going to move myself right here. And I'm going to go into reaction stance. Do a little bit of uh, melee overwatch in there. Uh, make sure it's triggered all the way. There we go. Very nice. And warp stabilizes mage blade attack. Riot. Plus 20 accuracy, or attack and accuracy for allies for four turns, decreases 5% each turn. Ah, I think we're fine. I'm gonna head out over here and just kind of chill. 
give your turn to an allied unit. Not use this if you've already moved. I'm gonna give it back to you. You can take another shot. Or, or, we can do like an Overwatch type situation. I think I'm just gonna take a shot here. Foom. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Next up, we do some more Caltrops and things. I think I'm gonna throw the Flamer. Ooh, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to move before I throw the Flamer. I think if I just step forward, this should be enough. Let's see how bad this messes them up. 100% chance to do some damage. I assume there's gonna be maybe burning on top of that, though I'm not positive that that's gonna be the case. Uh, I might be able to lunge. No, I can't lunge that far, okay. It's like I'm gonna have to step over here and do a little bit of the old uh, stabity stab stab. There it is, one guy down. Two more are gonna make their move. Will they step to her? I think it's a her, I'm not sure. Oh. Oh my goodness, a critical hit. That's, that's not fun. There it is. Alright, I'm gonna go with extra attack. And I'm gonna move. And then I'm gonna hit you. I'm gonna hit you with some knowledge, man. Let's see what you what you like. What you gonna do. Alright. Do we go for that or do we go for that? This is a more guaranteed hit. Let's go for this. Again, it's not guaranteed. It's 83%. And I say, and you know, you know I'm probably going to miss it. Like, it's probably... Oh, that's what I was worried about. Oh, he received a trauma. Bad shoulder reduces accuracy. I'm like, now, unless the odds are he somehow manages to land an attack and kill my boy, I think we're pretty good. Well, again, for the purposes of this, I'm okay with RNG owning my face. And I learned about uh, positioning needing to be a little bit more important. Ooh, we got to level up for wheelsies. Uh, Brunella leveled up with uh, a bunch of stat upgrades. Leonardo did as well. I, I like this presentation. I'd like to hear, again, this is down the road when they're at that stage, but like loud noise or like a something, you know. Um, maybe some flat. I mean, they already had flashes and lighting up, so they already have that. Like, level ups always should be a huge, big, massive deal. And they seem to be making it that way. Put this right in the middle of the screen. Make it bigger. I'm okay with that. This looks fine. It's kind of cool proportionately, but, like, you can make level ups bigger if you want to. I am all for big level ups. You guys know this. Do I need to save him or anything? Or is, like, he's just, he's just done for right now? Well, this guy's done for right now, I can tell you that much. Oh, we got some more level ups coming. We got Gaspar leveling up. We got Rafaela leveling up. And Carmen leveling up as well, very nice. Alright, get some ranged attacks here. Can I step away or is that going to be a problem? Disengage. I don't really like want to be tied to him. Engage him in a duel? What? How does, how does that work? What does that do? Make an, an, an attack at half damage that disengages you from all enemies. Lunge. Range that does not engage. Repost. If attack before its next turn. Let's do a repost. Heck yeah. I know how to win a duel. Oh, you done got, got buddy? Don't don't play the RNG game if you don't have to. I mean, that, that's, that's what I got from that right there. Just roll out and do what you got to do. Critical hit from behind, owning your old face. It was real unfortunate that we got crit and the archer finally got less blind. It was real, real unfortunate. We're going to cleanse ourselves of our uh, maneuvers right now as well. All right, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to make it all the way inside to see this play out, but we took care of the, the first little group there. Uh, some tragedy struck. If I had it to do over again, I would uh, probably keep that guy a little bit more safe. Didn't realize how vulnerable he was. The fact that he got crit and hit again after somebody else, after the archer missed like three times, two times I think it was, it's a bit rough. But it looks like there's a whole bunch of other guys that we can go fight. We can pull these guys away or maybe throw some explosions on them, try to do AoE damage. I don't know. A lot of other options, but that's going to be something that you're going to have to just wait and see down the road. I very possibly will come back to this and maybe do the rest of this map. Uh, 
I, I might do it after I revive my, my friend who went and fell down. So it might look like we're in the same spot, but he gonna be alive because I'm not gonna settle for him being down. Anyway, might do that down the road. But for right now, guys and gals, that's gonna do it for this episode. Remember, there's about 16 hours left on Kickstarter. If you guys want to go and back this on there, the link will be in the description down below at the very top. So go check that out. And all the information that I can get will also be down below in the description of the video and various links and things of that nature. Just like always, guys and gals, if you happen to enjoy this, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe to the channel, do the YouTube stuff. So until the very next first look, video, series, whatever it is you do, come check out here. I've been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. I want to thank you for stopping by The Freak Show. And always remember, we play, we fight, we conquer.